In 2015, my aunt and I received an email from my mom titled, Cancer Has Spread. She was letting us know that her breast cancer had spread to her liver and lungs. I had only known my mother had been battling breast cancer for two years before this, but she had secretly been receiving treatment for the previous 11 years. After reading her message, the tears started flowing as I typed with you all the way, no matter where the journey leads. About a year later, she passed away. I learned so many life lessons as I cared for my mother in her final years. I learned what it means to be a cancer caregiver and a cancer survivor. I'd like to share some of my biggest life lessons for those caring for loved ones with cancer. First, ask your loved one how they want to be supported on the journey and reassure them that you're with them all the way. My mom told me that she was more concerned with maintaining a good quality of life than extending the length of her life. My mom was fiercely independent, so it was important for me to just pay attention and see when there was an opportunity to help her do the things she loved. My second life lesson is to live in the moment. It's easy to waste time worrying about the future, but it's so much better to spend your time making the most of every moment as it comes. After my mother stopped treatments in her final months, our whole family took a trip to Disney World and it was the trip that my mother had always dreamed of. With her children and grandchildren by her side, we were able to smile again, and I took in every precious moment as it came. My third life lesson is the importance of self-care when you're a caregiver. As my mom's health began to decline and she needed more help, I put my own health on the back burner. But the more I neglected my own health, the less likely my mom was to ask for my help. I realize now that if I had taken better care of myself, instead of just focusing on her, it would have made things easier for both of us. I often think about my mother's journey with cancer. And even though cancer ultimately took her life, I still think of her as a cancer survivor and thriver because she lived life to the fullest until the very end. She fought a long, courageous, and relentless fight. For me, this was our victory. And I'm proud to say that I was right there fighting with her as much as she would allow me to. So I guess that makes me a cancer survivor too. And it was an absolute honor to be with her all the way. <laughs>